If you have been following the previous videos, by now we have established common method bias. And after we have established common method bias, the next step is to proceed with the structural equation model. Okay, so the next thing is to estimate the structural equation model. So now our measurement model is confirmed. All the measurement looks fine. There are no common method bias. The model is valid and the reliability of the items are also confirmed. So now we are going to start with the structural equation model estimation in R using the Lavan package. Here, what is different from previous confirmatory factor analysis uh, codes? What is different is that you see this part is exactly confirmatory factor analysis part, right? Exactly the same. We just have added the regression paths. That's it. Okay. And then if you look into the commands, you will see before this command was CFA. Now this command is SEM. That's it. Nothing else. Okay. So we just made regression paths and updated this command to SEM instead of CFA. And in, in, in regression path, so can you tell me the relationships that we have there? Let's say first one. LS is affected by CS. Yeah. And then we see that CS is affected by four, four variables. So we say that life satisfaction is affected by customer satisfaction. And customer satisfaction is affected by bus tangible features, bus driver's quality, then empathy of the bus service provider towards their customers that's something we included that is environmental performance so now let's let's just estimate the result let's just select this part and we just run it and we estimate so here you see I have three feet right but two are not active at the moment right because one of them, the second one is for multi-group, okay? And the third one is for bootstrapping. One of the thing, when our data is not normally distributed, in many packages for a structural equation model, they do not have the maximum likelihood robust. Then what is suggested is that you do maximum likelihood, but then you also do bootstrap, 3,000 estim 3,000 or 4,000 bootstrap sampling, okay? What is bootstrap? We come back to that later when we do it, okay? So now let's just estimate the model, the one which is active, we estimate it and then we run the summary. Okay, just to mention, you know, when, when you run a command, you have to run like from the, this part to end, this part. You have to have the quotation, end quotation in the in the command. Otherwise, it will consider it as a text. Okay? And then you will not get any results. Yeah, maybe it's better to actually have the comma up. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Anyway, so those who have got the results, what do you think? What should we look at now? What do we look at now? Yeah. What is that? You start from the beginning. Yeah, the ratio of chi square and degrees of freedom. Mm -hmm. CFI. Mm -hmm. TLI. Okay, you got the results? Yeah, nice. Then you look into RMSEA. Then you look into SRMR, right? And then you look into, quickly look into the standardized uh, factor loadings here. They all look good, uh, yeah, they all look fine. We know that the ones loading a bit lower, we already know about them. If I maybe do the study again, I would remove them, but now it's too late for me to remove them, okay? So what we mainly look at is this point. Okay, in the same, we are mostly interested here. What, what do we see here? Now we will we'll always report the standardized ones. 30, 30. Yeah. So 0 0.31, let's say. And then you put a star, right? This is 3 star. And then what about the next one? What about here? What is the coefficient here? 
How many stars? It is higher than 0 0.01, right? Isn't it? Yeah. So we have one. It's less than 0 0.05. And then we have 0 0.13, not significant. Then we have 0 0.34. It is too significant. Then the last one is 0 0.16. That is, you can put one or two. It's a tricky. That, that's the main estimation, right? What about the R square? What do we see them? How much of life satisfaction we are explaining? What do you see that? 0 0.10. Where do I find it? That you find if you go, if you scroll down. This is here. So you see, for the latent variable, we only have 2 R square, right? Only from the endogenous variable. So now you know how to run.